tell me your name and what you're going to tell me. Well, my name is Beatrice, and it was Blomquist. It's now Novobilsky. Beatrice Blomquist Novobilsky. And how did you learn your name? I learned the name Beatrice when I was in probably the third grade. It was during, it was right after the Long Beach um, earthquake. And, uh, and what year was that around? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not sure. What year were you born in? 29, 1929. So it was probably around 1935 that time. Uh, they were going to have to reconstruct our grammar school. I wasn't in Long Beach, I was in Southwest Los Angeles at Raymond Avenue School. And uh, they put up army tents for the students to uh, continue their schooling while they worked on the main building. And um, had a new teacher. I was in the same class I was supposed to be in, and she was taking roll call. So she kept calling for Beatrice Blimquist. Beatrice Blimquist. And I paid no attention to it because I was not Beatrice Blumquist. I was Betty Blumquist. Finally, the teacher got <laughs> exasperated because I was the last one in the class that hadn't answered. She came down the aisle and she said, aren't you Beatrice Blumquist? I said, no, my name is Betty. And she said, it's Beatrice. So <laughs> I was, <laughs> I went home and I said to my mother, is my name Beatrice? And she said, yes. I said, well, why does everybody call me Betty? She said, because your godmother wanted you named Elizabeth, but I wanted you named Beatrice. But we compromised and called you Betty. And that's how I found out my real name. And how do you spell your name? Be my name right now, Novobilsky. Yeah. N-O-V-O-B-I-L-S-K-I. And can I also ask, what lessons have you learned in life? Anything come to mind? Yes, be good to your children. Love them very much. I have five. Three boys and two daughters. And why is that a good thing to do? Because then you'll get love back? or? or well, just... that helps. <laughs> but no, um, they're all very wonderful children. I mean, adults. They're uh, very helpful to me when I need help because I am a single woman now. And uh, we get along just very well, although they're all over the world. One was in Saudi Arabia working in the oil fields. My daughter, Anne-Marie, is married to an Italian. She works for the United States government on an army base in Vicenza, but lives in Verona. And one is in <laughs> the youngest, the baby, who is 55, and now she's going to get married for the first time, <laughs> lives in Santa Fe, New Mexico. So I have two sons, both in, um, let's see, one's in, well, they're both in, hmm, Ventura. Yeah. Is one of them PJ? TJ? PJ or? No. Anything else you'd like to say? No, I'm just, well, except that I'm enthusiastic about living in Carpentry. I've been here for over 35 years, and it was one of the best things I ever did. And that was after I retired from my employment with Los Angeles County Hospital System. What did you do there? I was a medical caseworker. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Thanks for listening. <laughs>